Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the program called Putty to push a folder or a file from one PC to another. In this case, a Windows system connecting to a Linux system. And this is, um, I'm doing this because I, this Linux PC is a Zebra or fixed RFID reader. It runs an old version of Linux, uh, typically. And everything is locked down. There's no way to really use this as a PC per se. There's just one folder that's available for users to load programs. And I want to do that. And I, there's maybe better drop and drag programs out there, but PuTTY seems to be more commonly available. And I wanted to show how you can do that with a command line. All right. So let's start with assuming that you've downloaded PuTTY. And for me, um, it, well, I just keep it on my system tray here, but it's actually at um, the C drive program files putty. And inside there, there's also a couple other utilities, including this one, PSCP, which is the one we're going to use for pushing the file. But to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and use PuTTY in its normal way to create an SSH connection um, to this fixed reader. If I hit load here, I've got this IP address, port 22, hit OK, and PuTTY opens up a command prompt asking me to log into that remote PC. And in this case, it's RFID ADM. There is no password. Remember, this isn't really a PC per se. It's, it's, a, it's a fixed reader. So, and now if I type ls as a Linux command to show me the files, I see all the files that are at this one folder called apps. Um, just to show you that I'm not lying about that, let's just back up one level and I'll show you there, apps, that's, that's the folder I'm going to be in, okay? It's the only one I'm allowed to write to. All right, so now I'm ready to, um, just to verify that, yep, I'm in the right folder. That's where we're pushing. We're going to come back here and check and make sure after I've done the file push that it truly is there. All right, so that, now let's go back to, if I want to go into, um, what I, the folder I'm really working with is this one. Uh, I've got a little test folder that's got a test one file in it, and I've got a test zero. Now, these are trivial examples. What I'm really trying to push is a quite large Node.js modules file or folder. And that takes a while. So I'm just going to demonstrate the process with these simpler files here. Now, the commands we're going to run is going to be um, something like this. It's going to be this putty utility that is going to copy something, a folder or a file, from a path to the remote computer. I have to use the login and the IP address and the folder location that I wanted to go to. So let's start, just so I can just issue this command, let's start by just CDing into that um, PuTTY location or sometimes the easier way to do this in Windows is to use your file manager, go to the folder you want to open up a command prompt to, right click and say open in terminal. And when you do that, it'll already be at that location, okay? So now, I want to come back, and I want to put in something in this format here. Fortunately, I've got it already typed out here. This is test0.txt is the file. You really want to see that again. I can go click that, and I'll just, um, here, I'll do copy address. And that'll go to test0.txt, and I'll go over here, and let's do this, paste, and I've got to put it in that folder like that. Okay, so now let's just grab this whole thing, and I will say copy, come back to my screen, issue that command, and hit enter. And it should come back and just say, boom, done, right? Now, did it go? Let's go check with PuTTY. I go to PuTTY and I type ls again. Sure enough, there's my test0.txt file. 
Now you notice I did this before. I've already got a test folder, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you about this working or not working. So I'm gonna go back into my folder that I'm gonna push. And let's call this test um, two. Okay, that folder is called test two. And now I'm gonna do something very similar. Right? I'm gonna come back to my thing that I'm I'm writing, and I'm gonna get rid of this file. And instead of that, I'm going to say test two. Now, this is very, very important. If you're pushing a folder, do not put a slash after it. Okay? If you do, it'll only copy the, <clears throat> the files inside that folder, not the folder itself. All right? So keep it like this. Copy and paste it into my PowerShell, do that, hit this, and then we'll come back to PuTTY and double check there, ls, and there we go, we've got a test2 folder right there. And just to double check here, right, so I'm going to go to that folder, and inside should be one file called test1.txt, and there it is. Okay, so that's the process of using PuTTY to push folders or files from Windows to Linux and then using also PuTTY to remote connect into that PC and double check and make sure everything came up right.